हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम टेलिंग यू हाउ टू कार्व अ मैंडिबुलर फर्स्ट प्रीमोलर द कार्विंग ऑफ द मैंडिबुलर फर्स्ट प्रीमोलर इज सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ एन मैगजिलरी टूथ ओनली थिंग इज इट हैज टू बी टिल्टेड ऑन द लिंगुअल साइड द टिल्ट हैज टू बी देयर देन ओनली इट विल लुक लाइक अ मैंडिबुलर वन ओके मैगजिलरी विल हैव अ स्ट्रेट इट इट विल बी पैरल लाइक दिस ओके बट द मैंडिबुलर विल हैव अ टिल्ट लाइक दिस ओके टूवर्ड्स द लिंगुअल सर्फेस सो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू मेक इट so you can see this diagram in this diagram this surface is buckled so the main portion i'm holding towards the mesial aspect is towards me can you see here this i have divided into three part okay from the cervical third give inclination this is the buckled surface okay give inclination to the midpoint you can make out this midpoint okay this is what you are drawing till the end here right till the base like base is here till the base okay so your mag the buccal cusp tip supposed to be in the midline here okay see here this is in the midline and do the give slope towards the you can make out the incisal third line here so give slope towards the incisal third line okay so this part is an excess so remove this part and this you can do it later also or initially also you have to go little inside here okay so that is how the tilt here see the tilt is coming here now okay so that is how the tooth looks to be tilted on the lingual side okay and occlusal table yes it's a similar like maxillary tooth only two cusp okay the midline or the central groove which is placed more towards the lingual aspect okay so that is why you feel that the buccal cusp has a biggest cusp and the lingual cusp is the smallest because the central groove also tilted towards the little on the lingual aspect okay you have a triangular fossa here see the triangular fossa is starting from the corner this angle okay so from here to here okay and which of the mesial developmental groove is there this groove okay this accessory grooves of the triangular fossa i continue till the on the mesial aspect okay so you have to just dig it from the mesial aspect this is the basic uh, outline okay i'll just show you how to go for it the first thing i will do the midline here all all will have a midline okay like this all will have midline continue this midline till the on the top okay this is considering the buccal surface here so i'm writing b for the buccal this is mesial surface this is lingual surface and this is distal surface okay so the first thing is like we have to make it like a premolar so you have to divide this into three like initially give shape of an canine okay so hurt like thing like this i have done till the incisal third line only okay second thing as i told you in the diagram this is the incisal third line here the continuation of this okay so this is continuing from all direction now see this is buccal surface okay now i'm holding mesial surface towards me and what i'm doing from this point to this point i'm cutting this part okay like this mesial side okay mesial aspect is towards but i'm reducing the lingual surface okay are you getting me what i'm doing here like this see like this this is on the mesial aspect okay but actually i have done it on the lingual surface is it clear to you okay then next part you have to make it like a hurt so like canine i am doing it okay like this same on this side also so there is a slope on this side so automatically it will go like a slope only okay so go down here like this in the slope also see 
Can you see now? Along with the slope, it's going down. Just a minute, I will remove this back. Can you see the slope here? It's going down from this is topmost and this is the lower one. Okay. Then make a buckle ridge first. This is the buckle side. Okay. So I'm making a ridge on this side here. Sorry. Before that, you first make inclination till the midline. Okay. Height of contour. So reduce this part and give inclination to the crown. I am trying to make the height of contour at cervical third. This is the buccal surface, this is the medial surface. Okay, so I am trying to make height of contour at the cervical third. So I have given slope here directly from the middle third, sorry, uh, cervical third till the midpoint. Okay, so the future cusp tip will be here. Understood? So that is how you have to make it till the midline. Okay, you are getting me? Then you make a uh, buckle ridge okay like this how you do it in the canine okay now you can see the ridge the buckle ridge is well developed here right the buckle ridge is well developed already slope is there okay so you don't have to do here because this will be your lingual cusp tip okay this point this point will be your lingual cusp tip okay so you don't have to do anything there okay second thing now see this is the parallel surface the mesial and the distal okay this is the buckles ridge this is the lingual side so the broader at the buckle side and narrower at the lingual side so what i'll do i'll do it directly like this the corner this corner i will reduce okay Yes, can we make out the shape now? Okay, towards the lingual side. I have given conversion towards the lingual side. You got it? Then, this is almost done. I will just making it a round. Okay, all angle rounded. Then I will go for the occlusal table. Okay, so this is the crown is almost done. Okay, then the same thing, triangular fossa and central groove. First draw like this. And like this, okay. Deepen the triangular fossa here. I hope you can see this clearly. Right? Then develop the cuspal ridges. Okay. I hope you can see this clearly. These are the two triangular fossas. This is the ridge. Okay. I will deepen the central groove now. like this so I cut this part which is joining here so I cut that part into two half like this okay then I will try to develop the inclined plane on this ridge like this I'll go down here into the triangular fossa like this like this okay then from this side also I will go. This will be very small because the cusp is also very small.
Yes. Can you see this now? See the cusp tip is in the midline. If you see the cusp tip, it's in the midline. See the lingual cusp, very small, right? And the middle of the middle third. Okay. Then, see occlusal table. You have a two triangular fossa here, right? This is the triangular fossa. This is the another triangular fossa. And this is the central groove. Okay, please maintain the central groove. Okay, some are not making the central groove. They are joining. They are making triangular fossa bigger. So you are losing your triangular uh, central groove there only. Okay, so don't make triangular fossa bigger. Okay, this is done. Then give constriction towards the cervical line. Here, like this. So I'm doing it here. Both side. Like this. Right? Then the base. This is the base. Whatever, see the line outline is coming like this. Okay. So if the outline is coming like this, so draw a line like this only. Okay. Tapering line. Okay. And then remove this part. Whichever thickness is at the lingual area, maintain that thickness, okay? Then I'm just making the angles round. The root has to be tapered towards the apex, so I'm doing that here. Okay, so this is almost done. I'll just polish it, rough polishing I'll do, dry polishing.
so this is almost done the cusp tip if you see the cusp is still straight here so i will just make it round here with the help of cotton only edge yeah? like this yes okay little inside here on the palette lingual aspect so that it should appear like a tilted on the lingual side can you see now only at cervical area i did it at only cervical area okay so the excess i will remove here this polish with the cotton see now it's appearing it's tilted on the lingual side okay so that much it has to be tilted right if you see it clearly see the contour is at occlusal third of this cusp and here the height of contour is at cervical third of this cusp okay so that is how you have to make the crown tilted this tip is in the midline of the crown okay cervical line yes you draw it according to yourself how it is supposed to be Mesial is supposed to be a little deeper than the distal. Okay, then we'll remove some wax from this area. From the crown portion, I'm removing. so that there will not be any sharp edges on the crown area i'm just polish it again okay so this is almost done Now one more thing, the marginal groove, developmental marginal groove, that's supposed to be on the mesial aspect. So this is what is the mesial aspect. So you can make out this. You can make out this. Okay. So this triangular fossa just continue the groove here towards the distal side. Huh? Uh, sorry, towards the lingual side, like this. Not too deep. Just you have to draw. That's it. Okay. Yes, you can see it here. This is the line. Okay. Yeah. I'm just removing the wax chips from the triangular fossa.
okay so this is how you have to make the mandibular first premolar Thank you.